paralysis. It's... Some days are planted in your brain and they never get out. So from there, it was just kind of my worst nightmare. I instantly knew I broke my back as soon as I hit that water bar. Going off of a drop on my bike and it was about 15 feet. I took a helicopter to the hospital and then uh, figured out that I was paralyzed T2. Which, uh, the end result was uh, damage to my spinal cord and uh, now I need the use of a wheelchair. And I fractured C5 and they fused 4, 5, and 6. And so originally I was paralyzed from the neck down. And, uh, rotated back around in my head and landed on my neck. Broke my C6 vertebrae. What is paralysis? It's a loss of identity. And you can take that loss and you can walk away. Or you can take that loss and turn it into something new, something better. A new athlete's injury has a lot of different variables to it, but surfing allows us to have someone step outside of their comfort zone. Not many folks before they got hurt had a surfing background, so just getting out into the ocean is a, is a big feat. And when that person steps out of that comfort zone, they really find growth. They see so much positive growth, and that's something that I really think that is so important about High Five the Wave Adaptive Surf Camps, is getting people to step outside their comfort zone so that they can positively grow and you know, move forward, get past that injury and understand that even though the word adaptive surf is put in front of it, the word surf is still there and folks are still surfing. The main goal of this camp is absolutely to open doors for athletes. You know, these high fives athletes were athletes prior to the injury, and you know, not everybody knows that these adaptive capabilities are in place. And so, it's kind of just showing people that they're out there, and this is just kind of nudge in that direction. And so, it's cool that we can help them out. There's a liberation where I can move the way I can't move in a wheelchair, and there's also uh, a deeper, deeper connection with the entire body, which is pretty rad. Once you're in it and you're going, it's such a freeing feeling. So being on the wave is just um, a great spot to grow and learn and become stronger. It's really cool to surf. Feels like I'm not disabled. We are in paradise, and they say the islands heal and have the ability to heal. Well, clearly we've all got some, some trauma in our life, and what a great place to get together as a group of people to just be, and also do some very, very cool stuff that helps expose yourself to something a little bit deeper. E o mau kia i mai ka po mai na na i mai ka haleo kaku he noi ha ha ia oi e ki mai ka i ki na ke komo hana mai uka he kai maloko. This trip is about getting over here and getting people to surf, but what we're really also trying to do is we're really trying to have people connect when they come here. They connect with the land, they connect with the water, they connect with themselves, and they start finding things inside of them that they might not have found before. Oh hey. What are we doing today? Uh, we are driving up to Hanna. 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 
Maui is a very powerful place. Um, when I came here and throughout the time that I spent here, it's been incredibly healing. The energy of Maui is always calling, I think, to everybody. You know, I'm not unique in feeling that. The island has a mana or an energy or a flow to it. When you come here, it is different than anywhere else that I've ever been in the world. And there's a, a sense of calm. As soon as you get off the airplane, you feel that. Maui is a special place, and you can just feel the energy that you get from Maui, and it definitely gives us all a positive vibe here. We went to these waterfalls, and it was crazy to get down to them. The actual adventure to get down to the falls, on Lacey's back, pretty sketchy, had some help from a lot of people to make it happen, and I was so gripped from that. I was scared, like legitimately just tense and overwhelmed. Just like looking at the falls, I never really thought about swimming to a waterfall or going behind it. Doing it, going an absolute mental, emotional shift happening when you're out in the water, when you're overcoming your perception of what's possible. Ohana, the Hawaiian name for family. You know, when you've been through tragedy, when you've been through life-altering injury, you are bound to one another. You're bound to another person who has shared that similar experience. Sum up being a high fives athlete in one word, it's family. You know, you're part of something big, like the movement that Roy and Steve and everyone else that's contributed to the High Fives Foundation over the years, the way they help people and the way they raise awareness and raise money to assist those living with spinal cord injury. They're creating family, you know, they're creating a really cool opportunity for 100 plus athletes to get together, to work together, to work towards common goals of overcoming adversity. When you say disabled, I think of like the opposite, you know, like you're, you're still, you can do whatever you want. You just gotta figure it out. Like you just have to adapt to the situation and figure it out. And you know, luckily like with a group like High Fives, there's a ton of support and they wanna help you figure it out. You know, and that's, I, that's what I think High Fives is all about. I have a family of other people with similar injuries. Everyone can relate to what each other is going through. That's powerful. I mean, these camps have definitely given me a new passion in life, which which I think is huge. It's been the biggest uh, thing that's been able to keep me feeling happy and alive since I broke my back. My life is more full and more um, colorful for experiences like this. I think one thing that we've created at High Fives is an inclusive community. Now, yes, we're here in Maui to surf, but there's other things being accomplished. We're growing as individuals, we're growing as athletes, we're growing as a community. What is paralysis? Paralysis is an opportunity to choose your path, to choose your identity, to choose your life.